Despicable Three! Hi everyone! We've been invited down to Warwick Castle today to come and see their Dragon Slayer show. It's the first time the show's been on since 2019 and it's been on our radar for a few years prior to that, hasn't it? We've seen like a few clips of it and things like that but have never had the opportunity to come down just because the timings haven't fit. So now's the perfect time. Really looking forward to it. This is a nighttime show that's like a 360 degree theatre. It's all projection mapping, there's like fireworks, there's a lot going on. I really love my show, so I'm really looking forward to this. I think I'm probably the most excited. <laughs> and there looks like there's a few food stands here, so I'm pretty excited too. <laughs> Jim's excited for like the first two hours. I'll be excited for like the last two hours, I think. What do you reckon? I'm in between. You get entry from quarter past six and the show starts just after eight o'clock. So what we're gonna do do now is head down the food stands, go and see what they got, have something to eat, bit of dinner, see what else is going on. It is an absolutely red hot day today. It's still scorching. We just thought we'd sneak a peek into the courtyard to see what the seating situation's like. This looks amazing. It's quite cool to see that it is like proper seating and I'm guessing when they're saying it's 360 degrees it's going to be going like all around the castle buildings here. I'm really looking forward to this here. Seats remind me of the old baseball ground. <laughs> Do they? What Derby County? Yeah, <laughs> We're heading back out from the courtyard now. We're going to go and check out all the different food stalls. There's quite a lot here so it might just take a little bit of time to have a bit of a walk around. Could get expensive. Couldn't it? <laughs> it could get very expensive. So coming out from the courtyard the first thing you come to is a pizza stand and pizza coffee salad. This is what you can get from the pizza stand. It looks like £4.80 a slice. Oh, or they do a family pizza and salad meal deal, £14.80. I don't actually think that's a bad price, really. That's got to be cheaper than a Domino's <laughs> for a family meal deal, hasn't it? Yeah, that doesn't look too bad it at all. Good. So where the courtyard's here, it is literally just opposite where the pizza is. And then as I pan to my right, that's where the bar is, which is definitely proving popular. We've just seen some people walk away with a foot-long hot dog from here. It looks a little bit good, doesn't it? That did look a bit good. Are you cashing in now or are you waiting until we've checked out all of these ones up here first? I wonder if they do a family foot long. <laughs> a family foot long hot dog. It's £6.80 for a hot dog and I've said to the guys, right we'll go up here and have a little look and Jimmy said, well I think we should stick here to save going into the crowd. Yeah, I'm a bit, uh, bit I need to rest these weary legs. It weary me. legs. Me. Let me show you this crowd that Jimmy doesn't want to walk into. This is the distinct lack of crowd. <laughs> yeah, it's where the burgers are, I swear. Oh okay, yeah, the burgers are looking pretty busy. To be fair, Jimmy, down there there is a little bit of a crowd. That's where the burgers are, basically. So up here we've got a coffee shop, a sweet wagon as well. I bet we'll be ended up there later. I like the sound of that, a sweet wagon. <laughs> it's got to be the only word for it, hasn't it? An articulated unit. Oh, they've got noodles and katsu curry here. I can't work out that price though. What is it? Can't work out what the prices are on this. I'm wondering if that's meant to be a five. The chicken and fries store looks really busy. It's about eight pound for the meals there, but that's got quite a queue. Does smell nice, yeah, doesn't it? It's a popular one, isn't it? This one, yeah. I think the thing for me is when you see there's a queue, you're wondering if you're missing out on something. Do you know what I mean? Part of me wants to join that queue. And then the last thing we've come to is the burger store. It looks like these are the same prices as like the barbecue one down the other end. So you've decided you're going to go for a hot dog, haven't you? I'm still undecided, it's a bit too much choice for me. What are you going for? I'm easy, I'm easy. We'll have another loot round with Jimmy. <laughs> They've actually sold out of burgers here, which is absolutely fine because Jimmy's going to go for this foot long hot dog. He was debating a chilli one, but he's decided to just go for the classic in the end. £6.80. We've paid for a bottle of drink and we've been told to just grab one out of here, so I'm hoping they're going to be ice cold, nice. Smells absolutely amazing, all that food cooking over there on the swinging grill. It's big, isn't it? Every time we've come to Warwick Castle, we've always seen like the peacocks running around. So if you are coming here, that's definitely something to look out for. We're sat down so Jimmy can eat his hot dog and it's literally come wandering straight past us, hasn't it, Jim? I'm just in a fear of it seeing my hot dog. <laughs> Genuine fear. Maybe they've got a different nature to a seagull. How's the hot dog? So nice, perfect. Ticks all the boxes, solid 10 out of 10. You said that I would have enjoyed it. Definitely. I don't recall him offering me a bite. <laughs> no. What I can say is, if man wanted a bite, man would have asked. <laughs> me and Jim have decided to go for a pizza, and instead of sort of doing it by the slice or the meal deal, what we're going to do is just go for like a full Hawaiian. That is £13.80. We've ordered the Hawaiian with an extra slice of pepperoni. Pepperoni's out. Yeah, well, that's not bad just for like one slice, is it? It's not a bad portion. So this is the Hawaiian. Have you seen the portion size of the pepperoni? I think the slices are probably better value than the overall pizzas. I agree, considering that on the left was like £4 something, £12 something on the right. I think you're probably better off with these, yeah. yeah. Both smell nice. Oh god, fair, yeah, so. smell amazing. And the price of both of them was... £18.40. Oh, is it? 
I was going to give you one word. Yeah. Artisan. Oh, do you know what I was going to say? Oh. I've got two. Doughy. Chicago town. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say doughy and flowery. Doughy and flowery. But basically in one word, artisan. <laughs> All finished with the pizza. It was okay. I think sort of price-wise, quality-wise, it's been like okay and sort of what you'd expect at this sort of event. Yeah. Would you agree? I was hoping it was going to be a bit crispier and I think like looking at them, I thought it was going to be like quite a crispy base, but it was more like a doughy base. But I think when I gave the accolade of Chicago Tan, it was too much too soon, wasn't it? <laughs> it's now quarter to eight. The show starts at quarter past eight. There's been a right rush on at the donut and sweetie stands, isn't there? Yeah, everyone's getting ready to uh, step up. But it's the type of donuts that we're not keen on, like your seaside town, deep fried ones. So when you say we, yeah, <laughs> me, and Jimmy. me and Jimmy. The tickets we've been assigned are K16, 17, and 18. It is now eight o'clock as we're heading to go make our way to our seats. It's still quite like daytime, isn't it? Yeah, and obviously, the projection mapping can only really, I think, happen when it's dark. So, I'm quite interested to sort of see how it sort of transitions to like nighttime and how it all works. This whole area has got such a lovely atmosphere to it now, and they've started playing some music as well. Jim's just looking for OK for us to find out where we're sitting. So we're sat quite near the front, we found we're okay. And we're right at the end of the row here, so K16, 17 and 18. This is gonna be a lovely view for the show. I'm really quite glad that we're sort of down the end, like on an aisle as well. Just got a bit of space around us. This is beautiful. The show's starting, these are the hosts that are coming in. I present to you a tournament of skill, strength, and courage in which knights of our kingdom shall compete. interval now what do you think half an hour interval jeez louise this is gonna be a late night isn't it so we're gonna march on and together we're gonna defend warwick but first a brief message from our sponsors <laughs> so it's now 20 past nine so that first part was like 50 minutes long wasn't it quite a lot to it there was like some sword fighting there was like some like fire effects like really 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 cool i enjoyed it my favorite character was uh, thanos's granddad when he, when oh he what, like the troll thing yeah aka blanca blanca from street fighter 2 with me and jimmy christian <laughs> it's, the, it's the next bit i'm really looking forward to the projection mapping yeah now that it's dark the projection mapping's really gonna start it's sort of like they've been sort of like layering the effects as the night's gone on so like there was like a little bit of projection mapping then like a little bit more fog a little bit more like lighting going on so it's it's building like throughout it's this amazing sitting in the this courtyard though is it's got dark and looking around what's surrounded by it's very atmospheric i do exactly. really like that it is quite intense we have seen a couple of like real younger kids like leave haven't we so i do think if you've got like little little ones who can get scared quite easily i'd like it to maybe like a wicker man pre-show type scare level then it might be a bit intense for them but yeah so far so good yeah, we like we like a bit of intensity don't we if i had one critique of this show is that the girl would get with him because he hadn't got enough money so he's had to go off to get titles and fame proper gold digger he meets a lovely girl nice and feisty turns her down and got back with the uh, gold digger i think you're thinking too deeply stuff um, 
It's going to finish with an amazing moral, an amazing moral. I'm waiting for that moral to come, but at the moment, <laughs> it's a bit Kanye West gold digger. <laughs> I think this maiden's heart was stole by the one in yellow who looked a bit oh, like Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, the, the yellow knight, he looked like Thor, Love and Thunder. Anyway, yeah, quite like, yeah, quite like quite that. Quite liked him, yeah. <laughs> Mark's that, Mark's that a 10. We'll give him one. 10. <laughs> the finale's just about to start. You can see now it is proper, proper dark. They've got a little bit of the projection mapping going on over there. What we'll do now is film a little bit of the show and put it in, but we'll catch up with you once the show's finished and let you know our thoughts on it. They were just a speck on the horizon, no threat. Then their ships grew bigger and bigger. Their war drums grew louder and louder. It was like the beating of a dragon's cruel heart. Guy strode forth to face this monster. It swarmed fast across our land. Archers! victories brought me great renown but now the memories of those deeds haunt me the sweet dreams of victory have become bitter nightmares my body and my mind are sick no longer do I crave adventure and victory I crave peace and solitude as I stood before the crowds they chanted his name but Guy had disappeared but why had he left me? I wrote letters to Guy, seeing them piled high, gathering dust, crippled me with grief. Your love made a humble man a knight. Your love made me Guy of Warwick. I was the last thing Guy saw in this world. On the day of his funeral, the whole of Warwick came to pay their respects. He had fought for justice in many lands, so he could make himself worthy enough to be my husband. And the pain of losing him was too much for me to bear. Felice and Guy were reunited forever. He protected the weak fought for justice, at times against insurmountable odds. So now you truly know the greatest legend of them all, the Dragon Slayer! We are out of the show and making our way back to the car park. Hastily. Hastily, because we need to pick our doggo up from our, my best mate who's looking after her. Thank you very much, Carly. Love ya. That show was really good, but it was dark. It was so dark. Yeah. And it, at the end, it was just like, holy. I was expecting it to end when they got married and for there to like be a bit of a happy ending. No spoilers. There's going to be spoilers, but she should have got herself with Thor. <laughs> he was at night as well, weren't he? Very like... dark, very dark. The projection mapping was brilliant. The projection mapping was fantastic. The fireworks were so good as well. And I forgot just how much like, I love that smell of fireworks. You yeah, know, like being nice, in there yeah. and like seeing it. I can't remember the last time we watched a fireworks show. Just being in there and the seats we had as well. That were like quite near the forward and to the left. So we were like near a lot of the projection mapping and the fireworks. 
It was great, wasn't it? But the way it? the fireworks were synced up with what you were seeing on the yeah. walls as well. And like the uh, like fire coming out, like the dragon at like the different angles and stuff. That project, the projection map a bit was yeah. top top class. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. And I don't think you'd get anywhere like as beautiful as Warwick Castle in terms of like British like heritage, like sort of buildings. Do you know what I mean? Sitting out there on a warm summer's night yeah. is absolute perfection, isn't it? It was stunning. I loved, I loved how they like had the, like, these effects on the wall, so it looked like, like the wall was like all like damaged, and they made it look so perfectly. It was honestly beautiful. Like the, on the walls, it was just incredible how they did it. Like genuinely made to perfection. I didn't realise really that the story was about my guy. I thought it was all going to be about my guy. my guy. I thought it was all meant to be like about a dragon. So it was quite a pleasant surprise that there was like such yeah. a story that and like linked honest, the first we and did the second love half. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, for example, story uh, from uh, the uh, wise old uh, gym over here. Once uh, Blanca got banned from his chippy because he was too powerful on Street Blank Fighter Two. Blank <laughs> was Blanca. Blanca, Street Fighter Two. He didn't get banned from the chippy. He was a character on Street Fighter Two, and we were all dead excited. And when the chippy first got that game, everyone wants to play as Blanca. So and that was Blanca in the Dragon Slayer. So we agreed. That nobody could be Blanca. <laughs> Blanca was that massive Thanos' granddad thing oh, okay. earlier on in the show. It's got no relevance to what we're talking I've about. I've got no idea what Blanka is, so I'm going to Google image it and then I'll stick yeah. in a picture. You know, we should have been banned from Dad's Chippy. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> we are going to end the video here. Any questions, leave a comment, happy to answer them. I'll also leave a link below if you are wanting to book to come here. It is only on for selected dates and I'll pop those dates up on the screen. If you are coming, hope you enjoy it as much as we did. We did have a good laugh at quite a few moments yeah, in that, didn't really we? Really, it, really yeah. good. Anyway, see you later. Bye. See you later. Bye. So guys, it's the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and, you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.